Welcome to part one of two on how to install a no drill, no hole Garmin Striker 4 fish finder on your John boat. Let's get started. In this video, I will demonstrate an affordable way to install a fish finder and transducer on your John boat without having to drill any holes. This installation method allows for the excess transducer wires to have enough storage space to prevent damage and tangling. The Fish Finder's mounting platform offers an adjustable and clear view of the display screen. The transducer is attached to a base that can be adjusted to change its height in case you come across shallow water. By loosening the wing nuts, you can quickly move the plate to prevent the transducer from scraping the bottom. This way, you can resume fishing without any fear of damaging the transducer. For easy identification, lay out the parts needed for the installation. Number 10 by 3 quarter inch stainless steel screws. Number 8 by 1 inch stainless steel screws. Number 1024 by 2 inch stainless steel machine screws. Number 1024 stainless steel wing nuts. Number 10 stainless steel lock washers. Number 10 stainless steel flat washers. Number 1024 stainless steel hex nuts. Marine heat shrink terminal connectors. Marine heat shrink tubes. 15 by 20 by 1 half inch polyethylene cutting board. JB Weld Epoxy. 8200 Marine Sealant Adhesive. Marine Silicone Sealant. Spray paint that states bonds to plastic. 16 gauge black and red wire. 1 half inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. 1 inch blue painter's tape and zip tie mounting anchors. The mount that is used to install the fish finder is fashioned using two pieces of polyethylene. The space below the mount is where all the excess transducer wires are safely stored. The length of the mount is determined by the width of your boat seat. The end of the mount should be positioned one inch from both sides of the seat. The transducer mount comes in two pieces. One mount is affixed to the boat while the other is adjustable. I use a 15 by 20 by 1 half inch polyethylene cutting board to make the mounts. Using the 20 inch side of the board, measure 3 inches on each end of the board and place a mark. Use a square and draw a line on the board using a fine sharpie pen. Use a Bosch T118A jigsaw blade to cut the board. Set the jigsaw to medium speed and cut slowly following the outline. Don't apply excessive force to the jigsaw. Push gently and let the blade do the work. After cutting the board, smooth out the cut ends. Mark three sections six and a half inches long. Use a miter saw and cut on the marks.
After cutting the boards, smooth out the cut ends. From the 12 inch side of the board, cut one piece 4 inches wide and one piece 3 inches wide. After cutting the boards, smooth out the cut ends. You should have the following boards. One board, 4 inches by 12 inches. One board, 3 inches by 12 inches and three boards, three inches by six and a half inches. Place the three inch by 12 inch board in a vise. Use a 764 inch drill bit to make four evenly spaced pilot holes at the top of the board. Place the 4 inch by 12 inch board in a vise. Line up the top board with the edge of the bottom board. Using the top board as a guide, drill pilot holes for each screw. Use number 8 by 1 inch stainless steel screws to install the top board. Flip the fish finder mounts over and secure it in a vise. Remove the mounting plate from the fish finder base. Center the base on top of the board. Make sure to position the fish finder mounting plate in the direction required for your boat. Use a 964 inch drill bit and drill three pallet holes. Drill two one half inch holes side by side, starting two inches from the edge of the mounting plate with one inch spacing between them. Test the transducer and power wires and make sure they fit through the holes. 
Use a one half inch wire brush and smooth out the edges in and around the hole. Place one of the three inch by six and a half inch boards inside the fish finder mount. Line it up under the top of the fish finder mount. Draw a line with a fine sharpie pen. Use a miter saw or jigsaw and cut on the line. After cutting the board, smooth out the cut in. On a piece of cardboard, properly mix JB Marine Weld Epoxy. Make sure you have two even portions. Mix thoroughly. Apply the epoxy to the top edge of the board. Make sure the top edge is fully covered. Place the board between the two half inch holes with the front even with the top. Hold it in place for a minute. Place a heavy object on top of the board. Let the epoxy cure for 24 hours. Apply painter's tape on the bottom edge of the fish finder mount. Apply two coats of paint. Make sure the paint you use states bonds to plastic. Let the paint cure for 24 hours. Remove the painter's tape. Secure one of the transducer mounts in a vise. Mark four hole locations one half inch from the bottom and top of the mount. Drill quarter inch holes at the marked locations. Secure the second mount in the vise. Place the first mount on top. Tape the two mounts together. Using the holes as a guide, drill all four holes into the second mount. Remove the tape. Use a countersink drill bit and open the hole so the screw heads and nuts set below the surface.
Test the screw heads and make sure they set below the surface. Paint the mount with the countersink holes on one side only and the other mount on both sides. Apply two coats of paint. Let the paint cure for 24 hours. Insert four number 10 by 24 by two inch machine screws through the holes on the unpainted side of the mounting plate. Install four number 10 24 hex nuts. Tighten the nuts securely. The screw head should be below the surface of the mount. Test fit the top mount. Secure the top mount in a vise. To properly align the transducer, position it at the center of the mount and ensure that it is placed at the bottom edge. Use a 964 inch drill bit to drill the pallet holes. Drill the pallet holes in the center of the transducer mounting slots. Clean the surface area on the lower starboard side of the boat with mineral spirits. Sand the area with 80 grit sandpaper. Sand the surface of the transducer mount with 80 grit sandpaper. Clean the surface area with water and soap. Dry with a clean cloth. The area where the transducer mount will be installed must be flat and free of any dents, bumps, or indentations. If the surface is not flat, use a filler such as Bondo Metal Reinforced Filler. Smooth out the area and sand until it is flat. On a piece of cardboard, properly mix JB Marine Weld Epoxy. Make sure you have two even portions. Mix thoroughly.
Apply the epoxy to the back of the transducer mount. Push the epoxy into the screw holes. Make sure the back is fully covered. Install the transducer mount on the boat. The transducer mounting plate must be level and in the correct position. Make sure the mounting plate is flat against the boat's surface. Important! Hold the mount in place for one minute. Hold the mount in place and tape securely to the boat. Let the epoxy cure for 24 hours. Carefully remove the tape. Some of the paint will come off during the tape removal. Cover the screws and the edge around the boat with blue painter's tape. Paint the front of the mount again. After the paint cures, remove the tape. Apply marine silicone sealant around the mount. Attach the transducer to the mount with number 10 by 3 quarter inch stainless steel screws. Do not tighten at this time. Use size number 10 24 stainless steel flat washers, lock washers, and wing nuts to install the transducer mount. Adjust the transducer, then tighten the screws. To adjust for shallow water, remove the wing nuts and move the mount up to the top holes. To fish in normal water levels, make sure that you return the mount to its original position. Measure the left rear corner of the boat. Measure from the left rear corner to the end of the fish finder mount.
Place the PVC pipe in a vise and cut each piece to fit the measurements. Smooth out the cut ends with a grinder wheel and wire brush. Clean the PVC pipe with mineral spirits. Let the PVC pipe dry for one hour. Place a strip of painter's tape on one side of the PVC pipes. Apply two coats of paint to the PVC pipes. Let the paint cure for 24 hours. Be sure to watch part two. We will complete the installation of the Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder. Thanks for watching.